Hello everyone and welcome back to Gamelon Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B Team for episode 23. Last episode we made ourselves this cool uh, Tinker's Hammer out of Cobalt and Obsidian. And after a little bit of mining since last episode, got quite a bit of stuff. It's kind of smelting through. I don't think the system's quite working at the minute, but it doesn't really matter too much. Because um, what I want to do this episode is make a sorting system using Project Red's pipes. Which are kind of new to Project Red and I haven't really used Project Red too much since... Um, since it came out, so this is all kind of new to me as well. And um, this Project Red transport section is kind of like a logistics pipes in a way. It does a lot of functionality that logistics pipes brings, and it's actually pretty cool. So I've got a little chest here set up with all the kind of things we're going to need. And yes, we do really need this many flowers. I had to go around and like, if I show you the map real quick, I went quite far afield to get loads of flowers. And this um, this is sort of like a magical forest. It's kind of quite cool. It drops these. Uh, magic wood logs and these uh, magic wood saplings. I might go plant some of these outside real quick because they, uh, they look kind of cool. And we've got some uh, cows that are just looking for safe refuge inside my house. Let's just uh, stick one down here and you'll see when it grows. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Why is it always thunderstorming around my house? It's, there's always a thunderstorm. Always. Every single time. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is... I'm thinking about making this here like my extraction chest. So I just sort of dump stuff into this chest and it'll go around, go to where it needs to be and that's that. So, what I need to make is, uh, first of all, there's a load of item transport pipes. I'll sort of walk you through which one, what does what. So, the item transport pipes sort of just carry items around the system, and that's it. They just take things from one one end of the pipe to another. Now, uh, routed junction pipes are what are needed every time you come across a junction. Like, when you do a logistics pipe setup, you have to have a basic logistics pipe at every junction. Now, it's the same with this one. You just need a rooted logistics, a uh, rooted junction pipe. Um, otherwise, things will just bounce around everywhere, and they won't exactly know where they're going. Um, then you've got a rooted interface pipe. Now you need one of these at every single interface. So say I had, um, what I'd need to have is I need to have a rooted interface underneath this pipe, underneath this chest, and then another one underneath every other chest that I want to put stuff into. Uh, this thing here, the, cra the routed crafting pipe, I'm not too sure how this thing works yet. I've seen it and I have an idea what it's going to do. I think it's going to craft stuff from it, um, as you might guess, but I'm not 100% sure on what that's um, used for just yet. We've also got the uh, routed request pipe, which is pretty cool. We'll get onto that later in the episode. And then there's an extender pipe, which is also really cool. We'll get onto that at some other point as well. And these are all basic chips that I'm going to show you what do you right about now. So the first thing we're going to need is a bunch of these rooted interface pipes, which are uh, junction pipes, which are glass panes, g uh, redstone, diamonds, green illuminator, and uh, illum illuma? Illuma? Maybe? Um... A red Illuma and green Illuma, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so in order to get this stuff, this um, red and green Illuma, you actually need glowstone and a bunch of these dyes. And you only get one per thing, and we need two of these per 16 of these pipes. So we don't need that much, but we do need um, quite a few. So let's grab some yellow, some red, and some lapis. And the reason I've got this is because yellow and blue mixes together get green, which is pretty nice. We can get some red from this. We're probably going to need some yellow as well. Just plain old yellow. And I do happen to know we're going to need orange as well. So we'll grab some of those. Why not? Uh, something like this. Do, do, do. And we get orange dye. Cool stuff. Okay. So in order to get this stuff, we're going to need a bunch of glowstone, which we have over here. Let's craft these guys together to make ourselves some of these. Uh, two should be enough for now. And we'll do the same with the uh, red stuff. Two should be enough for now. I think we've got enough glowstone to get us through this episode. We should do, hopefully, maybe. Glass panes are not too hard to make at all. And we've got a bunch of diamonds and redstone. So glass panes, I'm pretty sure, are just this. Like this. Okay, maybe I'm going to have to look up how to make glass panes. Glass panes, oh, it's just six glass. Okay, that's easy enough. There we go. I think 16 might actually do us. So let's see. Can we make one of these? Yeah, of course we can. Okay. Cool stuff. So there are junction pipes, and then to upgrade those to interface pipes, we need some golden nuggets and some redstone. And as if by magic, I have some gold over here, which we can turn into golden nuggets, which we can turn into these routed interface pipes. Now, we are going to need more than two, but they'll be fine to start us off with. Now, let's put one of these guys underneath this chest to start us off. Um, another cool thing about these pipes is they are compatible with the uh, Forge microblocks, so you can cover them up quite nicely, um, which is pretty nice. Something that logistics pipes doesn't do, and... Um, I, I like it. I like it when you can cover things up with uh, with these covers. It makes the room look a lot nicer. We'd have pipes going everywhere. Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to have another one, say, under this guy. And actually, I think what I might do is get rid of these like this. And I think what I might end up doing is... Oh, that might be why it's not working. There's a thing there. What I might end up doing is just have things coming straight out of here into this chest. 
Um, I'll just send them, pump them straight from here into this chest, and this chest can route them wherever they need to go. So I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll do that. That sounds like a better idea to me. I'll just sort of like dig up what's already here. Actually, I'll just dig up a new line. It's fine. And we can have stuff going to that chest. So if we dig this up like this, now let's make ourselves a bunch of those default pipes, which are just glass and stone. Oh, it's glass pins and stone, even my bad. Let's make, say, 32 of those. That's probably going to be more than enough for the whole uh, setup we're going to have today. So we just connect these up like this. And you'll see that this stuff over here, again, kind of like logistics pipes, um, they've got red, like, like it's all gone red. And then as soon as we hook it up to something, it, uh, it'll all go green. And that thunder does not seem, sound uh, very nice, if you ask me. Now, do they work with things like that? Is this lit up? No, okay, maybe get rid of this. Oh no, why, you know why that's not worked? Because over here, we need an interface pipe. Not just a normal transport pipe. If you try to put a normal transport pipe down, it just will not work. So let's put one of these guys down like this, and things should go green. There we go, beautiful. This thing also has a nice sort of like elongated connected texture as well that Buildcraft pipes just don't have, which is kind of cool. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need a bunch of these um, item responder chips. Now these things take orange Illumina, or Illuma, Illuma? Illuma? Maybe. <laughs> you take this stuff, redstone, iron, and null logic routing chips. Now, we need quite a few of these, so I'm going to make a bunch of those right now. Got some paper, got some redstone, got some, was it golden nuggets, I think? Maybe? Yeah, golden nuggets as well. Okay, so let's grab a bunch more gold to make some golden nuggets. Probably not that many, but uh, 64 golden nuggets should do us just fine. Let's make a bunch of these. Let's say 10 or 11. Why not? <laughs> when I said 10, I meant 11. Okay, so let's see. Can we make some orange Illuma stuff? Of course we can. So let's make four of those, like that. Let's put some stuff back into this chest for now. Like the flowers can go away. This stuff I don't really need. Uh, these guys I don't really need at the minute. That should be fine. Let's just organize our inventory. And we're all good. Okay. So can we make one of these? Nope, because doo -doo -doo, what are we missing? Piece of iron. Grab one of those. And we should be good to go. Okay. So I've got an item responder chip. Now, what you need to do is you need to put this thing into uh, into this pipe here. But if we right click right now, you'll see it won't go in. What you've got to do is you've got to just like look into the air and just right click while holding it. And you'll get this little interface here. Now, this is what you use to configure this chip. Now, you've got filter and priority. The priority, basically, it's um, if you have a few of these with nothing on them. So like if, um, I'll show you filter first. Filter, they kind of work like the uh, new, the um, item ducks do from Thermal Expansion. You can have items that are whitelisted, so I could put, say, I only want um, glass panes to go into the, to go to this um, chip and through this pipe, but uh, that's not what I want. I kind of want ingots to go through this pipe. So, let's see, what are some of the common ingots that are going to come in? We're going to have gold, we're going to have silver, lead, uh, iron, tin, and copper. Now, most of the other stuff is probably not going to be that common. Most of this other stuff's not going to commonly come through the system and try and get to this uh, this chest. So, and the only reason I'm saying that, the only reason I'm going for the common things is because there are only a few slots. There's only nine slots on here, so we can only whitelist nine items um, per chip. So, let's say lead, iron, tin, copper, silver, and gold. I think they're pretty much all the ones we're going to need. So we've got that. You can have um, fuzzy mode, MBT, MBT is ignored. MBT is basically the things on the um, the end of a, an item ID. The best way to describe it is kind of like um, tools. If you had a chest full of tools and you had MBT is checked, it would only put tools, like say this one here is uh, the item ID is 109.25.7. If I go and say use this just a little bit more, like if I go break this block or something, it becomes, um, or maybe a few more times, Maybe. Is it changing? Basically, it, the items change. MBT is basically just like um, different parts of items. Like, it's kind of hard to explain, but if I just if I if put um, use MBT, it only puts slightly used pickaxes in. Or if I had four pickaxes, it wouldn't put slightly used ones in. Whereas if you put ignore MBT, it would put just every single type of pickaxe in. Um, probably not the best explanation, but it's... it's uh, <laughs> you could just put um, ignored or checked. If you put checked, it's fine. No, we'll ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> Gosh, I'm getting confused now. Just ignore MBT. Just leave it as ignored. I think it's fine. 
um, then you can leave this as well. So, uh, priority basically is if you had a bunch of these that didn't have any um, items whitelisted, if you just blacklisted all items and you just had stuff going anywhere, the priority is basically which one goes to first. So basically if I had this chest here and then I had another one over here, but I wanted everything to go to this chest before it went to this chest, I could set this priority to like 5 and this one to 0 and stuff would try and go to here before it went in here basically. But now we should be able to right click on this thing and if we right click again on this you can see you can have up to four chips in each of these pipes and you'll see why in a moment but now if we say put actually we're going to need uh, to do something with this one as well first. With uh, this pipe we're going to need an, uh, an extractor item chip. Now this thing is cyan illuma with uh, redstone, a null logic writing chip and iron and cyan is made from green and blue so let's grab some green some blue. Now I think that might be enough. Four should be enough, yeah. And then we're going to need to make some of this stuff. Uh, nope, we're going to need a little bit more of this stuff. Like this. And then that should be enough. <laughs> Let's make some more of this guy. And we should be good to go. There we go. Okay. So now, again, same sort of thing. You want to go to fuzzy. This time I'm going to go to uh, blacklist. Items are blacklisted which means it's going to allow every single item through apart from if I decide to blacklist items on this thing here. And now if I put something in here, what will happen is if it has an inventory to go to, it's going to go somewhere. So now say I put lead in here, lead should get pulled out possibly and sent over there. There we go. Look, the lead's going along and it should end up into that chest. Cool stuff. But it's not pulling everything else out because that chest is whitelisted to only um, tin, gold, copper, silver, um, iron and lead. So only that stuff is going to go out and go across to there. Now, it's pretty slow to begin with, it's pretty slow at the minute, but it does get faster and there are ways to upgrade it, which uh, I will show you either in this episode or in the next episode. But uh, it does get pretty cool. So, let's, so that's that. That's what I'm going to do with this. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a chest here for this stuff. I'm going to have this chest here for the valuable stuff. But then I think the rest of these chests I'm going to do something else with. And uh, I'll get back to that in just a second after I show you another core feature, which again is uh, kind of from logistics pipes. Now, do I have, let me just dump all my stuff in this chest so I can break this thing here and then dump all this into, say, any other chest that will take it. <laughs> so I just want to get rid of this stuff for now. Uh, that should be fine, maybe. Let's dump some stuff in there. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. What I want to make is this thing here, the routed request pipe. Now this thing is a junction pipe with two diamonds and six redstone. And luckily for us, we have two diamonds and we can get six redstone. So let's make ourselves one of these guys, like that. Ta-da! Now, I'm going to put this, say, I'm just going to cut through here and put this guy over here. So let's get some more of our normal pipes, which are here. Bring these along like this. Don't forget a junction, you've got to have a junction pipe, so we're going to put one of these guys down. Um, otherwise, like the um, this thing would request iron, and the iron would come along, but then when it got to here, it wouldn't know which way to go with that junction pipe, so it might try go that way, or it might try go that way, and it'd just be random odds. So you definitely have to have a jun junction pipe there, and it'll get to the junction pipe, and it'll say, nope, you want to go that way, if it was a piece of iron. And the last thing we're going to need is put that there, and then we're going to have the pipe here. Now, this thing is pretty cool. Now, if I just break... We're going to want to break this chest eventually. I don't know if you can set this to not connect to certain sides or not. I'm not sure. It looks like you can. It looks like you can set the priority, I think. Um, I'm going to set the priority to the left. Now, this basically acts the same as the request pipe does in logistics pipes, and it lets you access all the things that are in your network. Now, you can see at the minute, even though I've hooked up this chest over here, it's not letting me see what's in there. That is because I need something called a broadcaster chip inside that chest. Now, the broadcaster chips follows the same like basic setup as all the other chips, but we need a magenta illumina, which is pink magenta dye, which is <laughs> blue, red, and white. Now, if we look at our chest, we have blue, we have red, and we should have some bone meal somewhere. There we go. White. Okay, so let's make ourselves, if we can, some magenta. Can we do it? Nope, because we didn't get any red. Clicked on it, but I didn't get it. There we go. Click that. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff maybe one day there we go nope let me have it there we go okay i think four might be enough maybe yeah four sh no it's not gonna be enough we're gonna need eight eight should be enough there we go and illumina stuff with glowstone might have to go get some more glowstone between episodes because we are going to need an awful lot of this stuff 
take eight of those and let's get this thing these guys and we should be good to go Ta -da. okay so now we've got the item broadcaster chip what we can do is as always got to go into there you got to you can leave the priority as whatever you want zero i'm going to leave it as um you want to go to filter and you want to make it blacklist so um oh sorry yeah blacklisted so it might have started as blacklist but you just want to have it as blacklist and then just go right click on your pipe and it will install it into the pipe and now if we go over here we can see all of our ingots and stuff and uh, i think this means that it's going to auto to this thing um, I might move some of this stuff because I don't want it altering to anything. I want it to be... Actually, what I might do is just move it up one. If I do it like this... Because I'm going to cover these pipes up, of course, with some covers, which I think... I did put in one of these chests, but I've just dumped my stuff all over the place. So I have no idea where half that stuff's gone. It's here. So let's just cover these up for a little bit because I know these are going to stay here kind of for now. So I say we had these like this. I'm going to be flying around doing all my stuff and then say I wanted five iron ingots instead of going around and trying to find the iron ingots I could just be like okay I'm going to right click on here I'm going to say click on iron I want five and submit and it's going to request five iron ingots which are going to zip down the pipe and spit out here and ta -da, I've got five iron ingots beautiful so now what I'm thinking of doing with the rest of the stuff because we've got a lot of random shizwiz and I don't want to spend loads of time and have loads of like unique chests like I don't want to have a chest just for plastics or a chest just for like um, I don't know mine factory reloaded so what I'm thinking of doing is I've set up this room over here which has got these nice magic wood planks that I've got that I showed you earlier in the episode and I've just got chests in here now what I'm thinking about doing is just setting it up so that this room all these chests in this room just have a simple um pipe in the back of them and any pipe, any item that doesn't go to say the ingots chest or the valuables chest will just get sent into randomly into one of these chests and it doesn't really matter that I don't know where everything is because I'm just going to hook all these chests up with broadcast pipes and then if I come back over here I can just be like okay I need that thing from my factory loaded I need the harvester and I can just type in harvester and even if it's all the way in this room in like the topmost chest hiding away in a back corner over here somewhere that I'd have never seen I can just be like submit and it'll send it all the way back down the system and up and out of here and it saves us having a bunch of chests like this and like this are just full of random shizwiz that we've no idea what we're going to do with so let's try and see if we can set that up so we're going to need a bunch more of these uh, interface pipes I think we should be good to go with that stuff because we've got golden nuggets and we've got a bunch of redstone so let's try and make say at least three of them now let's try to do half of that room in there so interface pipe check let's make three for now like so we're going to need three more of these which means we need a bunch more orange dye because we need a bunch of this stuff uh four is enough can we make another one of these we can and say we put one of these over here now let's go yeah we'll go behind it to the wall we'll do it like do, do, do like this Let's break this guy, this guy. We'll just go along and sort of underneath like this, I think. Oh, we've got that pipe there. I might actually go along like this and sort of try to hook it up. Yeah, that seems like a better idea, doesn't it? We'll just hook it up along with all the other pipes. And then we can have one go in. We can just have it coming along here. We can have one go into there and then the rest just go up. And I think I'll go around the back of the room there and hook, hook up to these guys as well. Okay, that's a, good, that's a plan. That's my plan. Right, so I think let's say... Uh, we do something like I'll set this one up first and let's put inside this guy one of these now this time we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna set um, items to blacklisted because we allow we want any item in the world to be allowed into this chest so we do that right click on it so now any item can go into that chest and now if we hook this up to the rest of the system um, always being careful to put a junction pipe in where a junction pipe is needed because we're gonna need one here now so let's grab ourselves a junction pipe throw this guy down on here like that so that's still going to work for that inventory there but it's going to allow stuff to go this way and all well and good let's set that up like that that should go green and now we're probably going to see stuff starting to um possibly starting to fly out yeah just random stuff now is going to start um zipping around and landing over in that chest because um anything in the world can go into that chest so it's just anything now i don't know if it pulls from the top first or yeah it looks like it does it looks like it's pulling cobblestone out first now i think by default this um extraction module pulls out eight things at a time it tries to pull out eight items at a time which is pretty slow i mean look at this it's pretty slow it's going to take us a while 
um, to empty out this chest, and especially when we start trying to put all the other chests in and just empty everything out. It's going to take a little bit of a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull out this. Um, actually, I'll leave that in there for now. But I'm going to pull it out and upgrade it in a second using the router utility. Now, not too hard to make iron, emerald, and redstone. So we've got an emerald in here. We've got some iron and some redstone. Let's make one of these guys like that. Easy enough. And now what we can do is we can take this guy out. So it's going to stop extracting. We can right click on this thing. Uh, sorry, shift right click on this thing. And it'll come up with this. Now what we can do is we can throw our extraction module in the middle. And by default it pulls out eight items at a time. Now um, if we uh, hover over this thing, this is the latency. Uh, the delay between extractions and this is the... Um, items to be extracted in one operation. So the more upgrades we add to the left hand side, the um, the less time there's going to be between extraction. So at the minute there was kind of a bit of a delay, wasn't it? So sort of, it part of the arrows, it wait about five seconds, and then it parts some more arrows, and then it parts some more arrows. And um, so that's what the latency is. If we if we decrease the latency, it's going to like be hour, 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 hour. It's just going to do it like every second or every few seconds instead of like every 10 seconds. And then on the other side, we have, um, was it this side I think it was maybe? Oh, I put off my chip in. On this side, we had um, the number of, items ex number of items extracted in one operation. So this is like how many items it pulls at a time. By default, it's eight. But uh, the more latency we add, the more stuff we add here, the faster it can go. And if we actually fill all this up, it'll actually pull out stacks at a time. Now, the way that we do this is if we go back to the uh, NEI and type in LX. And actually, no, let's go to um, at Project Red. We need these guys here. We need LX upgrades, LY and LZ, that's for these guys. And then RX, RY and RZ, that's these guys. So I think there's a bug at the minute with one of these. We're probably going to find out in a second, but not too hard to make. We need some redstone, some gold, and then some null logic upgrades, which is just paper and redstone. So that's going to keep falling out every time we do that. So got to watch out for that. Uh, got a load of paper, got a load of redstone. Let's make a bunch of these. So we're going to need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's take six of those. And then let's upgrade one of them to this thing. One of them to this thing. Uh, that didn't work because we need to get rid of this, maybe? Yeah. Uh, so we've got... Uh, where was the first one gone? We did make the first one, didn't we? Am I blind? Ah. Oh. Did we not make it? Oh, no. No, we must not have done. Okay. Uh, LX, LY, and then finally uh, an LZ, uh, which requires an emerald actually. So let's go grab one of those. We've got one left. Dude, gosh, we're going to have to go pay a visit to our uh, villager friend out in the middle of nowhere to get another one of these. LZ, like that. They're disappearing, aren't they? They have to be. We've got LX, LZ, and then we had LY. I'm positive we just made LY. <laughs> They're disappearing. <laughs> LX, let me let me install these onto this thing before I flipping start losing them. Okay, um, LX, LZ, uh, install, and then we can install. I think, uh, oh, LZ's not working. Install. I oh, mean, we have to install LY before we can install LZ. Maybe that's a thing. All right, L, Y, <laughs> looks something like this for like the fifth time. Uh, we do have what it takes to make out of this thing, don't we? Ah, okay, so it takes, right, okay, I'm just being a bit of a fool. It takes the one before it to upgrade to the next one, right, okay. There we go, Isaac's just having a bit of a, a dim moment, it's fine. <laughs> right, so we've got, okay, LX, LY, uh, we need to put the chip in. And then, do we still have the LZ? We do LZ, okay. And then, install. There we go, okay, so now... We've upgraded it, we've upgraded it, so now if we throw this thing back in here, we're going to upgrade the other side in a second, but if we throw this back in here, it should start pulling these things out a lot faster. It'll suddenly pull out eight at a time, but it'll start pulling them out much faster than it was before. Look at that, it's pulling out eight at a time, but it's doing it pretty much like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I love this, I love this mod. I like the blue glow they sort of get around them as well, but now it's pulling out um, things like every single second instead of like um, once every four, five, eight seconds, maybe whatever it was before. Uh, actually, we could probably look in there, but it's fine. So that's that. Now let's actually quickly just hook up some um, uh, some more of these. We're going to want another one there. We're going to need two more of these um, item chips. So if we go back to the normal thing again, item chips. I don't know if we really need the other upgrades then, the one that pulls out like a stack at a time. If it's going that fast, um, I don't think it really matters too much. So we need a bunch of orange dye. Do we still have 
we've got a bunch of yellow and a bunch of red flowers so let's just make uh, all of those into those let's make a bunch more orange there we go and then let's make a bunch of these is this all the glowstone we've got oh we've got some more in here oh we've got another stack that's fine good stuff okay um so we've got four we do need another four so let's do this one two three four there we go so now we should have enough to make two more chips and if we just click on this thing and do we have what it takes beautiful okay so I think if you have more than one, you can just right click the, the stack and then change the, all the stacks. So we just go filter, blacklist, and we should be good to go. So let's go put one of these onto this guy. If I can get out of here. Let's, oh, that's why. Um, let's put one of these on this dude. There we go. Don't shift click on it, just click on it. And then let's put another one on this guy. And we should be good to go. So now let's say we dump all this stuff in here because I want to keep this stuff for now but let's say we have this chest here pull all that stuff out put it all in there it should start zipping around and shooting stuff all over the place good stuff let's pull all these out as much as we can throw all that stuff in there grab some more throw all that stuff in there and we just get all these beautiful things zipping around all over the place it looks look at this I love it it looks awesome okay now we should just start filling up this these random chests full of random things and now the only thing that we're going to really need to um to finish this off uh, of course we're going to do the other side but i might do that off episode is we're going to need three broadcaster chips so broadcaster chips like this we're going to need a bunch more magenta which shouldn't be too hard to do let's grab some lapis let's grab a little bit more uh, we've got loads of lapis let's grab a load of red dye and a load of bone meal so we should be able to make a bunch of magenta there we go stacking a bit even gosh i think i made a bit too much but that's fine you can never have too much magenta let's take that let's make a bunch of these uh how many do we need 12 12 should be enough and then we're also going to need gold and redstone and i think that's about it so let's see if we can make three of these no we can't and uh, that's because we're missing these chips that we made earlier take three of those let's shift right click on this guy there we go beautiful let's break this wall just a little bit so we can access these things again and then let's just go like this did we need to change anything on these i don't think we did but let's have a quick look uh they should i think they started on blacklist didn't they uh yeah blacklist so right click right click right click and now if we head on over to our system over here and we right click look at all this stuff we've got so now if you wanted one of those coils, we can just say coil, and there we go. Look, we've got a redstone reception coil already there, already waiting for us, which is pretty cool. Look at all that stuff. Um, the only downside is, at the minute, say I requested, like, I don't know, all of the cobblestone. <laughs> if I press submit, I think it's going to be pretty slow at sending it back. It's not, actually, it's not that bad. You can upgrade, oh, God. <laughs> Let's collect this stuff. Um, you can upgrade this so that it, um, it doesn't, like, send it all bits at a time. If we upgrade say the um the broadcast chip we can have it so that it sends a stack at a time instead of like i think at the minute it's probably sending eight um or maybe it's sending more maybe it's sending like half a stack or something but we can upgrade that but i don't know that was pretty fast i don't think i'd complain at the speed of that that was quite nice and considering we're not too far away from our storage room it's not like it's got to travel miles to get to us so i think i'm gonna call that pretty good let's put this cobblestone back in here because i don't want all this cobblestone on me let's dump this stuff in here break this guy and I, what I'm going to do is just quickly sort of finish off emptying out everything else that I've got. I think I'm probably going to end up rerouting this as well, all the, uh, the spawners. I don't think I want the spawners going to their own chest just there. I'll probably reroute them to one of the six chests we've got in there now, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, be sure to hit like. And I will see you guys next time where I think what I might do is I might just finish this up, finish this off like out of episode. Or maybe not. Or maybe, um, hmm. There was something. What was I going to show you? Uh, pipe. I think I've pretty much showed you everything. I'm not too sure what the crafting pipe does, but uh, that's about it. I think we should be good to go. We've got a nice system set up. This stuff, ah, okay. Oh, okay. I've never seen this before. So it looks like this. these guys are probably all full now. Yeah, okay. So they're all full. And these guys are just slowly moving their way back because they have no idea where they're going. And um, I think this, the system's sort of just a bit confused now. It doesn't know where to send them. I think because it was going so fast, what was happening is it was like, yeah, 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 let's just send a load of stuff. And then it realized, oh, crud, we're, we're, we're full. <laughs> we're full up on stuff. We can't send anymore. And I think it's the bows that are causing this problem because these bows are a bit, there's a lot of them and they, they don't stack. 
Um, now this is a perfect example actually of the MBT thing. Um, if you just put a full bow in and put ignore MBT, it would just only accept full bows. Um, now if you put use MBT, it would only accept full bows. Whereas if you put ignore MBT, it would accept all the bows. Um, because if you look, they've all got slightly different numbers on the end because they've all slightly different damage values. But uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!